we like to entertain friends, but because of the size of our apartment, we don't get to do that. You guys need a little bit more space. It does look a bit small. It has a bit of an office look. This is a nice kitchen. Mm. Which one's it going to be? Sometimes renters rush into apartments, but it doesn't take them long to realize that the place just isn't what they thought it was. This is our first apartment together, yes. and I think we were so blinded by love uh, <laughs> when we first seen it uh, that we just took it. <laughs> when we got the key, I cried. Mm -hmm. I really did. I, I looked around and I was like, what do we do? She did. Shortly after moving into their current rental, Johnny and Cecilia realized they had company. Cockroaches. Yes, we mice. all have mice, and we are covered with little mouse traps and stuff, mm. and still... We've had pest control in here quite a few oh, times. Oh, yes. And, uh, <laughs> we have one elusive mouse that we just cannot catch. This very active and outgoing couple needs an apartment that will better suit their lifestyle. We would really would like to have friends over and entertain, cook for them, have parties, but really it's so small we haven't had anybody over here at all, so yeah, we need to move. Want. So spacious, bug-free apartment? Here we come. Hi, Jody, how are you? Hi. Please come on in. Thank you. Jody, this is my boyfriend, Johnny. Welcome to our home. Can I get the grand tour? Oh, yes, please. please. Well, it won't be grand, but it'll definitely be a grand tour. Okay. <laughs> so this is our spare bedroom. Bedroom. <laughs> yes, yes, not much of a bedroom at all. No, how would you fit a bed in here? You That's don't. the problem. You have two armoires. Yes, because there's no closets in the apartment. And right here is our small living room. It's small, but really well put together. We like to socialize and we like to have friends around. And as you can see, you wouldn't be able to get more than three or four people Not in this yet. room at any given time. So it's very evident that you guys need a little bit more space. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Big time. How long have you guys been crammed in here? About 16 months now. Wow. Mm. So that's why now that the lease is over, we're ready to move on. Other than needing more space, any other reasons for moving now? We're hoping to have friends and family over from Ireland and Argentina this year, so we need somewhere yes. for them to stay. So other than needing two bedrooms so you yes. can accommodate your relatives, what else do you need in a rental? What's on your wish list? We would definitely need more storage uh, room. We need closets. Somewhere like a backyard or a patio would be nice also. I want a destination neighborhood, somewhere where we can go to a restaurant or to a pub or just have a nice walk. Being close to transit will be pretty important. And the last one, but very important, is not to have carpet. We are not carpet people, mm. let me tell you. Yeah, this entire place is covered in carpet. And, and now covered good. with stains. So it doesn't sound like you guys are really asking for all that much. What's your budget? Well, our budget would be 1400 per month, including utilities. Yes. Wow, OK. Yeah. So that's tough. How's your mm. search been going? Not so good, actually. It's hard to find everything that we want. We either get a great house, but not in a good location right. or the other way around. Yes. We have done the internet, we have done the, the newspapers and walking around the neighborhood looking, but uh, nothing so far. So it was time to call in some professional help. Exactly. Exactly. Please. Please help us. Johnny and Cecilia have been living together for nearly two years, but they've never really liked their apartment. It's my job to keep them from letting their emotions cloud their judgment and help them find the perfect rental. Affordable rental space can be very hard to come by in high demand neighborhoods. I encourage renters to consider less conventional options in the area they really want to live in. I found out about this next rental through a commercial agent. It has everything they're looking for. If you guys want a destination neighborhood, it doesn't get better than this one. It's probably the most coveted neighborhood in the city. It's pretty central, close to transit. Yes. Lots of great bars, restaurants around. It's and just what we're looking for. The rental I'm about to show you it takes up the back of the second floor of one of these converted mansions. It's newly renovated and it's got a lot of really good perks to it. Let's have a look inside. Okay. That's good. Come on in. So we come first into the kitchen. Okay. It's pretty okay. nice. At least it's clean. Not bad, not a bad size. Now there's no dishwasher. That's, That's okay, I have him right here. <laughs> <laughs> 
So the living space is really open concept. Okay. Mm. I love the hardwood floors for sure. Mm. Seems to be spacious enough. It has a bit of an office look. Mm. This building used to be offices, and they converted okay. it into residential. So yeah, we still have a sprinkler and <laughs> some <laughs> exit signs. No. It's just like, we're planning for a fire. Like, run. People come over and just look where you are. It's like the plane. Exit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it does have a bit of an office-y feel. But there is tons that we can do to really warm up and make this space feel more residential and re more homey. Removing the exit signs will help take away that commercial vibe. The room will get some personality with a new paint color. We'll use lots of wood furniture to add warmth. And furniture placement will create distinct living and dining areas. I like her plans for the room. I think it's going to look cozy. So here's the bathroom. OK. Is this a standing shower? Yeah. Oh, that could be a problem. I'm a bath lady. I like to take my bath. At this Did I know room. that? I don't think I told you. Yeah, I don't think we put it in the wish list. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Renters often assume that apartments come with certain necessities. In this case, Cecilia assumed that every place would have a bathtub. They didn't tell me that was a requirement. And if you don't tell me, I can't deliver. So this is the second bedroom. We will fit both the bed and uh, an office in here? Or I think you'd have to compromise somehow. It does uh, have a closet, though. Check mark. Double closet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now there's like a kind of weird window yeah. in here. So obviously we'd put a really nice curtain or whatever. It's kind of an opportunity for some fun design. Mm -hmm. So here's the master. Mm. Bit tight, Jody. It's definitely wide enough for a queen size bed. You've got a nice double closet. Mm. And we also have a super fire escape in case we have to do a quick exit. It's not just a fire escape, honey. So check this out. Fire escape becomes backyard oasis. Okay. Yeah, it's a good size backyard. The place is fourteen hundred per month plus utilities. Price is good, definitely. Well, it's within our budget. Yes, it's definitely a... within our budget. We'll definitely consider it. I think this could be the right apartment. I love the location. I think this one should be a good contender. When renters want a lot of space, their best options may be found in converted houses. But while rentals in homes generally have more square footage, their layout can be awkward. I think this next rental will offer Johnny and Cecilia both the space and lifestyle they want. Guys, this is one of my favorite areas in town. In fact, it's my old stomping grounds. I used Ooh. to live in this area. Okay. I truly believe your friends and family will want to come and visit you here. So destination neighborhood, absolutely for sure. Okay. Also very close to transit. So it's fantastic. Now, the apartment I'm about to show you takes up the main floor of a converted mansion. It has a really cute back porch and a little bit of a front yard area as well. Cool. I think it's a good option for you. I'm nice. excited to see. Yeah. Let's have a look inside. So come on in. As you can see, there's one hall with all the rooms coming off of it. Okay. And they start in the living room. Cool. OK. I like the nice big window. The hardwood floors are good. I don't know if it's the amount of things in the room, but it does look a bit small. I do think it is a little smaller than what you guys were hoping for, but I have some great ideas for the space. This is what I would do. We'll use light-colored furniture with clean lines to make the room feel open and airy. And we'll add lots of seating in the living area. These unique coffee tables can be moved around when Johnny and Cecilia are entertaining. And a neutral textured rug will ground the room. Oh, this sounds like a good idea. So this would be your guest room. OK. okay. Well, a big bed fits in here. I can see guests staying here. Yeah, it can it's, be a it's, comfortable it's not a bad size room, yeah. So this would be your master bedroom. It's pretty big. Mm. Oh, I like. Hardwood floors Ooh. again, nice high ceiling. I want to check <gasps> this out. Love this. I could actually fit in here there myself. Yay! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. Here we go. Yeah, it's a good size room, Jody. I like it. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys get a real close look at this. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if I want a real close. Looks really dirty. Well, I think if this place is yours, we put it right in the lease that it gets a professional yeah. cleaning before you move in. Yeah. On the plus side, the uh, ceiling is nice. I like the ceiling. It's cool, isn't it? Well, yeah, with a bit of work, maybe just spruce it up, shine it up a bit. I you don't might, like it. You don't like it? Well, 
So let's see what you guys think about this kitchen. Oh, it's pretty big. Nice and bright. Sucio. 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 Dirty. Dirty, yes. Yeah, the whole place needs a really good yeah. cleaning. The cabinets are not in the best shape, are they? Now, the landlord did mention to me he's talking about a kitchen update. I'm hoping that he means new cabinetry, but we'd have to get clarity on that. It would help, for sure. It's a bit of rundown. Yeah, work. Needs work. It needs work. The kitchen really matters to us. I think it's a bit of, like, the heart of the home yeah. where everything happens. It could use some work. The landlord says he's going to update the kitchen. Update is a somewhat relative term, so if this is a good contender for Johnny and Cecilia, they're going to have to get some clarification. This apartment rents for $13.95 per month, plus utilities. OK, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, but in our budget. Yeah. yeah. So does that make it a contender? Oh, definitely a contender, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So you can see past the mess. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it is pretty reasonable. Yeah. yeah, and I love the neighborhood too, so I think it's a good deal overall. It should be a good contender for them. It's a lot of space for a great price in a fantastic neighborhood. Sometimes finding the perfect rental means compromising. Cecilia and Johnny want to live in a destination neighborhood, but to get them a large living space, I'm taking them to an area that's a little off the beaten path. So I know we're not in a destination neighborhood like you guys really wanted, but we're quite close to transit, and it's a little bit residential, so it'll be quieter mm -hmm. and a little bit more peaceful in the summertime. It'll mm -hmm. be quite nice. The rent I'm about to show you takes up the main floor of a detached home that used to be a single family home. Now it's three apartments. Let's have a look inside. Come on in. Okay. It's pretty nice. I like the hardwood floors. Aren't they nice? Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. Nice and clean. Yeah, it's completely newly done, so you guys would be the first ones living here after Everyone. a renovation. It's a kind of a strange shape of a room. It is a bit strange. Mm. Well, but there are a few things that we can do with this room to make it really functional. An elegant paint treatment will give the room a dramatic new look. We'll place the couch against the wall and create balance with table lamps at either end. A large bookcase will separate the living and dining areas. And we'll use a square dining table to save space. Jody's design plan, I think it was great. I think he really used the space wisely. I like it. I think it could work. And is that the, my closet right behind you? Is that it? <laughs> I wish. This is actually the master bedroom. Let's have a look. So here's the bedroom. OK. Really nice size, it no? Is, it is a nice size. I don't see any closets in here. This is the main floor of what used to be a single family home. So this was the dining room. Okay. Okay, so the dining room, of course, didn't have a closet yes. in it. And the landlord figures it's big enough that you can have a bed in here and armoires. But you guys have all those fabulous armoires that you bought for your last yes. place. <laughs> they make these rooms feel so large, but then there's no closet. So once you put all your furniture in it, it shrinks and it mm. becomes this small room again. Okay, so here's the kitchen. This is a nice kitchen. Mm. I like it. Lots of storage space. Yeah, lots of Lots cupboards. of room. Yeah, I like the counter. Double sink. Yes. yes. Double sink is always great. And plenty of space oh, yeah. for our table and chairs yeah, yeah. in here, no? Yeah. yeah, very good. Spot for a TV. Oh. Nice. <laughs> as yeah. long as we have the TV, yeah. honey. Yeah. So here's the bathroom. Have a look. Okay. Okay. It's very nice and bright. I like the vanity. Isn't it cool? Yes, yeah, nice and modern. Oh, not a bathtub. Can I cry a little bit? Yeah. I actually do like the bathroom, but it doesn't have a bathtub. Mm, and what a shame. I'm going to keep focusing on the nice vanity <laughs> and try to forget about that. OK. So here's your guest room office space. Good size. Oh, we have a closet. Very good. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. The back room is fine. There is a closet. Where does the window lead to? Is the that... backyard. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so the backyard was something that was really important on your wish list. If we think about this place and compare it to what you guys were looking for in a rental, it's almost got everything you're looking for. Mm. But it might be worth making some sacrifices because it's under budget. This apartment rents for thirteen fifty inclusive. Well, that's pretty good. Money is that's nice. uh, that's well within our budget. That yeah. could be a deal maker. Yeah. The price is very good. The price is right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So why don't we go sit down and talk about all the places that we saw today okay. and figure out which one really stands out. Cool. All right, so let's good. head out. 
So will it be the converted office in the great neighborhood? The large rental with the awkward layout? Or the renovated main floor apartment that's a little further away? Which rental will be Cecilia and Johnny's perfect new home? So are you guys getting excited to finally have some new digs, a new place to live? Really looking forward to it. More yes. space. More space, yes. Speaking of space, let's talk about all the spaces that we saw today. What did you think about the office conversion? That was weird. That was different. Very office-like still. Like, it didn't lose that feeling that you were in the office. Mm -hmm. And the exit signs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then what did you think about the apartment in the converted mansion? I really liked that place because it had a character, but it has a very small living room and the kitchen is pretty ugly and not mm. that functional. So I don't know if it suits our idea of entertaining. Tell me what you think about the renovated house. I love the kitchen in that place. It was fantastic, perfect for entertaining. Best wise, it, it was pretty good too. Not our ideal neighborhood. Yes. So it sounds to me like even though it's in a fantastic neighborhood, the converted office space is out. Yes. Oh. So then it's between the main floor of the converted mansion. Yes. and the renovated house. So then which one's it gonna be? I think we're gonna go for the apartment in the converted match. If the landlord upgrades that kitchen. I think number one thing to do is call the landlord and All book right. an appointment to go and view the space with him. Get very clear descriptions of what he's planning on doing with the kitchen. I would go so far as to take notes on exactly what's being done, the date that it's supposed to be finished, and if you sign a lease on that property, you make sure those notes become part of the lease. Okay. Right? Okay. So he commits to having that done before you start paying for the house. Okay. So who's going to make the call? I think that would be you. That would be me. Yes. Okay. Hello, Steve. Yes, this is Cecilia and John. Upgrades Cole. can mean anything from painting to a complete renovation. So make sure you get a very clear understanding of what your landlord is planning to do before you sign a lease. See you then. Bye bye. How did that go? Excellent, actually. He is willing to change the cupboards, upper, lower, and the countertops. Okay. Any idea of when? <sighs> He didn't mention it. So you have to clarify that tonight. Okay. okay. Don't forget to make notes and make okay. sure it becomes part of your lease. Okay. And give me a shout and let me know when you've got it. I'm sure Definitely. you'll get it. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Jody. My pleasure. It went uh, very well with the landlord. We uh, drafted the lease and we put everything in writing like Jody said. Yeah, he seems to be willing to make the changes, so... Yes. As long as he does that, we'll be happy. Johnny and Cecilia must have done a great job talking to the landlord because they got the place with a new kitchen and a professional cleaning. Nice work. We got movers. Really awesome movers. We got storage boxes as well, which were a huge help. I had my little Cecilia here uh, taking on all the fixtures and fittings. Well, we put a lot of things in the house when we moved in, so we took everything back. The only downside is, through no fault of the movers, they were caught in traffic for a couple of hours. Just waited. It was a nice day, so we had pizza. A little stressful at the time, but... Yes, it's... but we made the best out of it. We're transforming Cecilia and Johnny's new apartment into the perfect space for entertaining. A day bed will save space in the guest room. We're warming up the walls with a fresh paint color. Removing the stained glass window will let more light in. We'll remove the doors to open up the living area. And a new window treatment will finish off the space. When we're done, Cecilia and Johnny will have a stylish and spacious new apartment. Come see her new space. Oh my god, this is just oh, wow. beautiful. Wow, it is beautiful. It's so fresh, I love it. Oh, it's beautiful, Jody. Very nice, very homey. My goal with Johnny and Cecilia's apartment was to open it up and make it lighter and brighter. Better for entertaining. I love the couch. Really wow, nice. the section looks great, yeah, doesn't it? Great. Yeah. Doesn't it add tons of seating? Perfect for entertainment. Time, yeah. Perfect, yeah. yes. The rug is beautiful. I like the little coffee tables. And then we reused your old chest as a TV stand. <laughs> yeah, cool. it works. Yeah, it looks great. What a difference with the curtains have. Wow, this is great. With high ceilings and large windows, privacy can become an issue. So I finished the windows with custom blinds and store-bought drapes. It's all like 
Very classy as well. I really like it. Do you think you yes. can do some good entertaining in here? Oh, definitely, for sure, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's going to be great. Probably a party at the weekend, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And your living room is extended because the guest room is open. Oh, wow. By opening up the two front rooms, I've created better flow and doubled their living space. So we're trying to get lots of uses out of this room. Okay. The day bed really does double duty as a couch, which makes it feel more loungy, and it can be a bed as well. Your pictures look nicer, though. No? Yeah, they do. You have some really neat pieces. Mm. All the artwork is yours. It's great. Well, thank you. It's my mm. continuing artwork. This space is also doing double duty as your office space. Yes. So a nice reading chair, a new desk that's very simple lines, Okay. Mm -hmm. and a bookshelf. Perfect. Cool. So, does this get the use out of the room that you were hoping? For sure, yeah. yeah. It created yeah. a great space to have friends over, to have family over. I love it. I think we've, we, we picked the right house. I think so, yeah. We're going to have good okay. times in here. The kitchen upgrade isn't finished yet, but the landlord promised it will be done by the end of the month. Johnny and Cecilia bought a lot of new furniture for the space, so my contribution was pretty much limited to accessories. Lighting, pillows, carpets, and drapes took up most of my $850 budget. I think it's well worth spending money on the rental because, you know, we intend to be there for a couple of years, so we'd like to make it as much like home as we could. So I'm going to let you guys have your space back. It's been so nice working with you. I hope we stay in touch. Definitely. <laughs> Enjoy. I'll thank let you have it back. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Wanna... It's nice, yeah, just an <laughs> Cool. Just not the new Oh, nice. I would definitely recommend getting movers. Yes. 100%. The moving wasn't expensive so much on its own. The movers were only $500, which is a great deal. But then you always have to remember to add all the extra expenses. So you got to get beers for your friends. You had to get pizza. some pizza. You had to, you know, get munchies in the middle. And everything adds up in, uh, at the end. 